Hello everyone, welcome back in Cool IT Help. In this tutorial session, we are going to install Flutter in Visual Studio Code on Mac OS X Catalina. So I have written all these steps right here on this notepad. So we will start with the step one, then we will proceed to the further step. So in the first step, guys, we need a Flutter SDK downloading. So first we will download the Flutter SDK from that given link in the notepad the same link given in the description box so you guys get that link from there and open your browser and paste in the address bar after that once we have downloaded all the stuff we will unzip it and then we will set some path inside the bash profile file okay so we will see everything step by step first we will work with the browser okay so this is the download page Mac OS X installation system requirements so you must have 2.8 GB space or more than that and after that we have uh, this uh, blue button so this is the download link of uh, the flutter SDK zip file so click on it for downloading and uh, this will start and uh, you can see the size is big and uh, this will take 15 minutes or less as per your network speed so I have already downloaded this zip file so we can proceed further and uh, we have to unzip this file but we will not this uh, right here in this folder you can do it but uh, we will place this file in a safest place to avoid the unintentional uh, deletion so I'm going to put this file inside the users folder of this machine so I'm looking uh, here in the spotlight search for the users okay now we are inside the users so there are several folders already and these are the uh, most important files so we will copy this zip file right here and we will unzip just do a double click to unzip this file this will take uh, 30 seconds more for uh, the proper unzip of this file then we will get a one folder with the flutter name you can see we got this uh, flutter folder and I have uh, removed that zip file because we don't need that one and right now we are inside the flutter folder and the important folder is bin and uh, we have to copy the path up to bin folder and then we have to update this path in the bash underscore profile file so we will open the bash profile and then we will update this path so to do that and uh, this is the uh, path and let me show you how you will get the path up to bin folder so simply open the terminal okay and then right here just drag this bin folder and you will get the path up to bin folder and the same path will be replaced here look at here now uh, the statement will be export path is equal to dollar path colon and the path that we have copied so this line will be uh, pasted inside the bash profile so first we will open this with the help of this simple command open approximation sign then forward slash dot bash underscore profile and hit enter then the bash profile will open in a edit mode now we will add this line inside this bash profile then we will save it and close putting this line just below this one that's it just save this file and close it this is because we are telling the system that our flutter is installed at this path and giving the SDK location okay now we are done with the step one in the step two 
guys we will uh, do some verification of uh, this flutter path setup so simply we need to open the terminal and we have to type this simple command flutter doctor so the doctor is a utility by flutter that will check the everything is required is there on your system or not okay so type flutter doctor press enter and uh, you will see such kind of message so don't worry about this message we will fix uh, these things later this is showing that your flutter bin path is properly set up and now we can proceed with the step 3 I will tell everything in the later steps few things are there related to Android studio but we don't need it right here now we are good to go with the step 3 in the step 3 we have to download the visual studio code from the given link so copy the given link and open the browser tab paste it here hit enter and you will be landed on this download page right here we have the options for the Mac in the right hand side click once and then you will be redirected to a different page and your downloading will start and the size of the Visual Studio code zip file is 84.1 MB and I have already downloaded it so I'm taking you inside the downloaded location I have copied that in a separate folder right here so simply we have to unzip this file or you can put it in the applications folder on your uh, Mac or you can run it from uh, the desktop as well there is no problem this is uh, ready to run just click on it and Visual Studio Code will start loading okay so splash screen appeared now the content loading inside and this is the welcome screen visual studio code editing evolved okay guys now uh, the step 3 is done and simply we have to install the plugins flutter and uh, the dart plugins so click on this button so extension search box will appear type flutter and you will see the very first result and uh, there is a small button for the installation just expand it and you will see the logo as well click on install and installation will take place on the right hand side the detailed information will open okay on the right hand side you will see a notification that this required a dart plugin or settings as well so you want to proceed click yes And now we will verify the dart is there or not so just type in the search box and you will see the dart is uh, installed with the flutter plugin now we are good to go for the next step now we will open the simulator so open the spotlight search type simulator and click and uh, you will see the simulator is loaded this simulator is appearing from the X code to run the simulator guys you must have a X code installed on your machine now in the step 6 we have to create a simple flutter project right here and then we will run this project on the iOS emulator so go to the view click command palette and uh, in the search box type flutter once you click the, there are several options so click on the first one new project and then uh, it will ask you for uh, a name so to type the name of your project and guys make sure put the name of the project in a small case after that it will ask you for uh, the location where you want to put your projects so I suggest you create one folder and then in that folder you can uh, create all your projects so we are going to create a new folder on the desktop with the name flutter projects 
okay now this is selected and uh, click on the right side button select a folder to create the project in once you click visual studio code will take over and uh, this will uh, create the very first project and set up everything for you uh, within few seconds you will see the project is set up and that will appear on the left hand side in the explorer tab there are several files we have folders for Android iOS and there's a main file which is inside the lib and uh, immediately this will be open so in this file uh, this is the starting point of the application this is a basic application and uh, I'm doing a simple change right here uh, with the header of the basic app so I am changing the home page header right here and also I will change the header background color. Okay at line number 23 the blue color is selected so I will change it to the orange. I am changing all these things to check that the build is working properly or not. So I have done a small changes in this main dot dart file there are a lot of choices and very good on the fly code suggestions you can see this is a very awesome uh, code editor by the visual studio code there are a lot of options and choices among the range of uh, orange color and guys uh, one more step we have to perform to connect the iOS simulator because this is not detected in the Visual Studio code. To do that, run a flutter doctor command on terminal and then you will see all this. And after that, we will copy this command sudo xcode hyphen select then this statement. And uh, we have to execute right here once. Otherwise, your uh, iOS simulator will not be detected by the VS code so just we have executed the command now again uh, type the flutter doctor and this will show you the message building flutter tool After that you can see on the bottom iPhone SE second generation iOS simulator has been detected by this Visual Studio code. And now we can proceed to run our app on this iOS simulator. Flutter doctor, uh, this doctor utility is for uh, checking that everything is proper for or not on our system or uh, our system is fulfilling all the requirements to run the application or not. Okay guys, so you can see VS Code detected, connected device 1 available and uh, we are working with the VS Code so we don't need to uh, worry about that Android Studio or CocoaPods and other errors and uh, we have sufficient setup to run the application. On the top you also see the options added and we are good to go to run this application, click on this uh, arrow. Or a play button to launch the application on your iOS simulator on the bottom the debug console will appear and you will see uh, the statements running flutter pub get in flutter app launching main dot dart on iPhone SE second generation in debug mode on the bottom you can see the progress bar running Xcode build in next few uh, minutes the application will be built and deployed in this iOS simulator so in the first time you will see this will take uh, much time but after uh, one time published then you will run again this will not take much time okay the final message we received Xcode build done in next few seconds the application will be copied and uh, installed on this IO simulator look at this application is installed and loaded 
awesome this is uh, successfully loaded on the top you can see that uh, the text we have changed is appearing welcome cool it help also the background color is orange and also you can notice on the right hand side the the debug strip is appearing so that means the application is running in debug mode also this is a simple um, application screen and a one screen application and there's a floating button on the bottom and uh, you can test it by clicking it this plus button and uh, the number will in increase by one the final message we receive here we go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten okay let me minimize this and i will show you the icon so this will look like this right here and just click on it and this will open so guys this is working perfectly and uh, this is the way you can uh, create your first application in the flutter and you can run on iOS emulator on Mac OS X Catalina and guys this is the button to close the application click here and you will see final message application finished and exit so guys uh, I hope you found this tutorial useful please like this tutorial and uh, don't forget to subscribe my channel and uh, guys for now thanks for watching cool IT help